we know that inverse fourier transform is used to convert the frequency domain data back to the time domain data but you know the ifft can be used to remove a frequency component or i would say that the ifft can be used as a filter option yes we can do it let me show you this example here the first picture is the combination of two frequency that is 5 hertz and the 12 hertz the second picture is indicating the Fourier transform of the same time domain data. So this peak is corresponding to 5 hertz and this peak is corresponding to 12 hertz. When you will see the third picture here what I have done, I have removed this data manually and then this is my Fourier transform and if I will again do the inverse Fourier transform of this data, I will find that my one of the frequency component has removed from the time domain signal. So this was the first plot where I was I was having 5 and 12 hertz but this is the signal where I am having only 12 hertz the signal and the 5 hertz signal has removed. So this is what we are going to learn in this lecture. But before I explain you the IFFT and how to remove the frequency component let me tell you what exactly happened when you do the Fourier transform. I want to create the Fourier transform of this harmonic function which is having 12 hertz frequency and the time step I have considered is 0.01 that means my sampling rate is just 100. So when I will calculate the Fourier transform you can see here that what happened in the MATLAB. This was my time domain and I can check here that my sampling rate is 100. But when you will see the Fourier transform, this is the output of my FFT command. If I will show you the command in the MATLAB, I have used the FFT command and I have created the Fourier transform of my harmonic signal 1. But when I am looking the Fourier transform, it is look like a mirror image. Yes, it happens here. If you will clearly observe, when you will closely observe this figure, you will find that this is a 12 hertz frequency which is expected in my Fourier transform because I have created a signal of 12 hertz. But you will find that this is exactly the mirror image of this, ima uh, this, this frequency component. That means if I am actually having the 100 hertz sample, so this would be the 80 hertz, 88 hertz sample and this would be the 12 hertz sample. So what does it mean? You should recall the Nyquist criteria from we can only observe or we can only get the frequency half of the sampling rate. What I want to convey, what does it mean if I am having a sampling rate of 100 and I am doing the Fourier transform, I will be able to see frequencies up to 50 hertz. Beyond 50 hertz, there will be exact mirror image. Let me run the code again. Here you can see that this was my time domain data. This was the output of my FFT where I can observe one peak corresponding to the 12 hertz and another peak is corresponding to the 88 hertz. I have removed the remaining data which is beyond the 50 hertz and I am only observing what is there below the 50 hertz and this is my Fourier transform. Please note when we do the Fourier transform of a time domain signal we can only see frequency up to half of the sampling rate. Therefore for the given signal the the sampling rate is 100 and I can only visualize the frequency which are correct up to the 50 hertz. MATLAB, no doubt MATLAB is creating a Fourier transform which is having 100 values or 100 hertz frequency but it is exactly a mirror image. Therefore, I will manually observe the frequency which is only up to the 50 hertz range. This is really important when you are doing the inverse Fourier transform. So let me come to my original problem. Here I am plotting a time domain signal which is having two frequency. You can see here line 6 is indicating that there are two components. One is 5 sine omega t where my frequency is 5 and second signal is having a frequency of 12 hertz. When I will create my time domain signal, this is the output of my time domain signal and you can see this is not a pure sine wave it is a combination of 5 hertz and 12 hertz when i will take the fourier transform of this signal this is the fourier transform of my signal and here intentionally i have just plotted frequency only up to 100 hertz beyond that the mirror image will exist so here you can check that the first peak is corresponding to my first frequency that is 5 hertz and the second peak is corresponding to my second frequency that is of 12 hertz but this is not the actual plot of the matlab if i will go and i will plot the original thing what matlab has created you will see 
MATLAB has created this FFT and here we can see that these frequencies are just a mirror image. So what I have done, I have just removed the half portion of this signal and I have plotted the remaining half signal and here you can see that I can only visualize the frequency which is half of my sampling rate. And what is my sampling rate? From this you can see that the sampling rate is 200 but I am only able to correctly visualize the frequency which are half of the sampling rate that is 100 hertz. This was the one part where we have seen that what exactly happened when we do the FFT. Now the next job that I want to remove some of the frequency values and I will do the inverse Fourier transform to get the new time domain signal. So let, let me go through the code. Initially I have created the harmonic signal and I have plotted the harmonic signal. Then I have created the Fourier transform of my signal and this FFT H1 is the actually my Fourier transform. Now what I need to do, I am going to manually remove or make the sum of the values zero so that some of the frequency component will remove from the Fourier transform. So what I am doing now, you can check here that first I am creating a DF value. DF value means what? Because I don't know at what number the particular frequency is there. What does it mean? I know that this is a frequency value but in my vector at what position this value exists because what I want to do in my vector I will manually make some of the values zero so that this component will remove from my FFT vector. My FFT vector is FFT H1. I have created DF. Then I have defined the range. If you will see the Fourier transform, there are 5 Hz and 12 Hz frequency and I want to remove 5 Hz component. And for that what I am doing, I want to remove frequency from 1 Hz to 9 Hz. Here you are simply writing 1 and 9. I want to remove a frequency range that is starting from the 1 Hz and ending from the 9 Hz so that the frequency component which is at 5 Hz will automatically go away. So saying that what is there in the first position of my frequency underscore range so this is one and I am dividing it with df may be possible that it will not be an integer value so I am doing this round command so that it will create it will give me one integer value similarly I am taking the second value which is here and I am dividing it by with the df value then I am removing the frequency and how I am doing so I am creating zero value from position R1 to R2 in my FFT H1 vector. If you will recall the actual FFT is a mirror image. So from line 22 to 24 what I have done. I have removed the initial portion of my FFT that means this peak is now become zero because I have assigned that R1 to R2 will be zero but I have not removed the end portion of my FFT. If I will not remove this component filtering operation will not be completed. So what I need to do in addition to removing the initial part I have to also remove the last part and what I, how I can do so to do so what I need to do I have to also remove the same frequencies which are starting from the end side. So you should remember these are the standard lines you can use it in your own code and you can remove the frequencies for the given case there are total 401 point you can check R1 is 2 and R2 is 18. That means from my from my frequency vector, I am manually making the value from second to 18 as 0. Similarly, if you will go and you will check what is this value, you will find that this is equal to the 391 and this is equal to the 399 means what I am doing from this line I am removing data from 2nd to 18th position and here I am removing the data from 391 to 399 value and I am expecting that because it's a mirror image that means both the 5 hertz component one from this side and one from this side will go away and I will only have this frequency component and this frequency component. You can check now after removing initial portion and then from the end portion this is my frequency vector now. If I will do the inverse Fourier transform of this frequency vector I will only get the 12 Hz frequency component and 5 Hz frequency component will not be there. Let me show you the entire code. This is the output of my entire code. This was my first figure where 5 Hz and 12 Hz both were there. This is the Fourier transform of this plot. 
after removing the 5 hertz component this is my fourier transform and when i will do the inverse fourier transform of this data this is the output so you can check the first first graph and the last graph in this graph both 5 and 12 hertz component were there but in this graph only 12 hertz component will exist and this are the line for the inverse fourier transform once you will remove the data from the fft underscore h1 by executing line 24 and line 25th you can directly go to line 32 and you will simply supply this data for your inverse Fourier transform and then you will get the plot of the inverse Fourier transform so this IFFT H1 data is having 12 Hertz frequency component but the initial H1 data is having 5 Hertz and 12 Hertz component similarly you are interested to remove the 12 Hertz component what I need to do in my code, I can simply select the range which is from 9 hertz to 15 hertz. That means all the frequencies which are between 9 to 15 hertz will be zero. In my signal, there are 5 hertz and 12 hertz frequency. I am removing frequency from 9 to 15 hertz. So you can see the output. This is the final plot, and you can see that. If you will check, this was the first figure. This was the first time domain plot. This is the FFT of my time domain plot. I have removed the frequency component which is around the 12 hertz. So only the 5 hertz component is there and you can verify the amplitude of 5 hertz component is 5 here. The same component is here and then I have taken the inverse Fourier transform and you can find that this is the frequency of 5 hertz. So this was the first signal and last signal. So I hope that this small presentation will help you how you can get the inverse Fourier transform and how we can remove a frequency component get the filtered signal. Thank you.